flag bearer of the National Democratic Congress, John Dramani Mahama, is scheduled to lead a national policy dialogue to fine-tune his campaign promise of a 24-hour economy. A press statement indicates party leadership and the NDC Social Democracy Lab, a policy think tank, will be key participants in the dialogue scheduled for Thursday and Friday. Details of the implementation of a 24-hour economy seeking to create job opportunities for the youth are yet to be made public. Nanoye Bampo Ado is one of the people leading the dialogue and she joins us via Zoom. I'm happy to see you. It's been a while. How are you doing? Kindly unmute for me. Kindly unmute Hello, for me. Can you hear Great. Me now? Great, I can hear you. So the deliberation on policies is coming ahead of the completion of the building Ghana tour, which will inform policies, correct? Hello, Nana. Nana, I think your hand pressed the thing again. Can you unmute for me? Can you hear me now? Yes, loud and clear. Me? Go ahead. You can hear me. Great. Great. Yes, so... Flag bearer John Dramani Mahama went on a listening Ghana tour, engaged with stakeholders, including organized labor, artisans, tertiary students, and sought from and elicited from them their proposals, the challenges they are going through, and also recommendations for um, the next um, government. So we've collated all these recommendations and proposals. And over the past two and a half years, we've had um, a lot of uh, consultation and we've done a lot of work. And we have come up with proposals for the various relevant sectors of our economy and also for purposes of our social development as a country. So over the past two, um, over the next day, what our flag bearer is doing is engaging with 200 stakeholders, members from the party structures, members belong to the social crisis think tank, and also ranking members in parliament and a minority caucus and our leadership in parliament. And what we're doing is that we are distilling and teasing out priority proposals to communicate to Ghanaians during this 2024 national elections slated for the 7th of December, 2024. So aside the much talked about 24-hour economy, what other specifics will be considered? We are looking at a minimum of 25 sectors, three broad thematic areas. So we're looking at governance. We're looking at policy proposals for security and intelligence, for local government, for justice delivery in Ghana, and also for governance generally. Then the, th the second pillar is human development. So we're looking at proposals for health, proposals for jobs, because, you know, according to the population census of 2020, 1.6 million Ghanaians are unemployed. And so we're looking at job creation directly linked with the 24-hour economy. We are also looking at health. We're looking also at uh, finance and economy. We're looking at infrastructure because we have quite a number of abandoned projects. We're looking at the economy. We're looking at how we can revamp indigenous uh, banking, our indigenous banking sector. Looking at agri and agribusiness, there's a lot happening in the cocoa sector. It's collapsed, BBC um, has, has more or less been sold off. And so we're looking at all these sectors, ICT communications, what opportunities um, do they offer? And even the issue of climate change, natural resources, what are our policy proposals for that? Looking at sports, not just as entertainment, but as a business. And critically, the youth, the majority 
of our population in terms of our needs in Ghana. A lot of them are unemployed. We have tertiary students who are unemployed. What do we do with the youth? What policy proposals do we have for the youth? And what are the cross-cutting issues across sectors, across health, across education, free SHS? What is our position on free SHS? So these are the many issues that we are deliberating on presently in the Eastern region. Well, the dialogue we know started today and it's expected to end tomorrow. Uh, what should be the expectations uh, from the deliberations in terms of outcome? Hello, Hello. Nana. If I had the expectation. Yes, what yes. should the public what, expect from uh, the... What should Ghanaians expect? Yes. We want to create and come up with proposals that will solve the problems Ghana is currently facing in terms of our economy, the collapse of our economy. We want to come up with solutions, proposals for solutions and recommendations that will address our socioeconomic circumstances. And may I add our dire and sorry state our socioeconomics, and then also we want to see how we can address the state capture. Presently, we have a state capture by the MPP. How do we confront and address state capture by MPP? So we're looking at optimizing and distilling priority proposals, policy proposals that will rebuild Ghana, that will ensure that we have a lean, efficient, corrupt free um, government come January 2025. So the messages we're going to sell to the youth of Ghana, the messages we're going to sell, serve to Ghanaians on how we'll solve um, the economic challenges and the high cost of living that we're going through now. So this is what we're looking at. Nano